The legacy of the ancient Roman city can be seen today across the globe, but it's at its most pervasive here in the city of Rome itself, ranging from imitation to more subtle inspiration to the actual reuse of the ancient monuments themselves. One of the best examples is here right behind me, the Colosseum, a symbol not only of ancient Rome, but also of modern Rome, the Rome of today. But one of the best examples of the layered reuse of ancient Rome can be found at the Piazza del Popolo, the Square of the People. It is located at the main north gate of Rome's ancient city wall, the historic entrance point for all visitors coming to the city from the north. In the Middle Ages, the Church of Santa Maria del Popolo was added, which gave the square its current name. Today, the centerpiece of the square is this Egyptian obelisk, originally dedicated to the sun god in the 13th century BC. It was then moved across the Mediterranean by the Emperor Augustus and re-erected at the great racetrack in Rome, the Circus Maximus, in 10 BC, as a symbol of his conquest of Egypt. Almost 1600 years later, the obelisk was then moved to its present location here by the Pope Sixtus V. The base is from antiquity, with Augustus' dedication on one side and that of Sixtus on another. The obelisk stressed the north-south axis of the square, which was further underlined a few decades later by the building of twin churches between the branching roads. The city gate was also remodelled. The exterior decoration was designed by one of Michelangelo's disciples, inspired by the triumphal arch of Emperor Titus, and used columns from the old St. Peter's. The interior side was designed by Bernini in the Baroque style for the grand entrance of Queen Christina of Sweden. The grandest concept for the piazza came in the early 19th century, during the French occupation of Rome. On the order of Emperor Napoleon, the square was shaped into an oval, inspired by the oval square in front of St. Peter's and the form of the Colosseum. So the piazza also got a new east-west axis, starting here in the gardens named after the emperor, and then going down these terraces towards the square, and then along this new great boulevard across the river towards the Vatican and St. Peter's Church. This new east-west axis was then converging with the old north-south axis at the point of the obelisk. The classical theme was underscored by a colossal statue of the goddess Rome, flanked by Roman-style spoils of war, river guards and with Romulus, Remus and the she-wolf. The latest large intervention at the square came at the end of the 19th century with the addition of these two lateral arches in the city gate in the form of a large triumphal Roman arch to allow for more traffic into the city through the gate. Today, the square is a pedestrian area, often used for political rallies, with a capacity of 65,000 persons. The square demonstrates the layered reuse of antiquity. It contains actual ancient remains, such as the obelisk and the city gate, but they have been manipulated to fit into later architectural programs. The piazza also contains simple imitations of antiquity, for instance the neoclassical statue group crowned by the goddess Roma. But there is also more subtle inspiration, such as the oval of the square reminding us of the form of the Colosseum. Piazza del Popolo is imbued with ancient Rome, but remains vibrant and relevant through each successive era, reinterpreting it by adding another layer. <laughs>